Hey friends, it's Carissa and I. We wanted to give you guys just a quick update on where we're at in life, where we're headed, what's on the horizon. You know, we don't have everything planned out, but we do have some things that we're moving towards and that we're planning on for the future, kind of over the next few months. As you're listening, we're holding everything with an open hand, but we wanted to just give you guys a quick update on where things are at. As of the time of this filming, we are two weeks away from our wedding day. I mean, we couldn't be more excited to get married. Um, you know, this last season of dating and engagement has had all the different facets. We're so excited that those seasons are coming to a close and we're transitioning now into married life. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's going to come with so many, uh, you know, different dynamics and pieces. Um, but we're, ex we're really ready for yeah. the transition. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, of <laughs> course. Yeah. We're excited. We get to have, you know, our, our friends and family come in town and, you know, some of them before the, the wedding date, just to spend some time with them. And yes. so, and so that's, what's like very next, you know, mm -hmm. here in just a couple of weeks is the wedding day. Family's going to be coming in everything else. Mm -hmm. Babe, tell them what we get to do for our honeymoon. Oh man, guys, you aren't ready for this. <laughs> uh, we are going to be heading to Crete, Greece for our honeymoon. Got that's right. All inclusive package going to be there for about eight days. Yeah. We're super excited. And so, you know, this is something that we were gifted with mm -hmm. because of the generosity of a few of our dear friends. Yeah. They wanted to bless us with getting to go spend eight days in Crete, Greece. It's going to be amazing. We're super excited. Super exciting. Um, we've never, you know, gone anywhere quite like this before. And so it's going to be wonderful. Mm -hmm. So after we get back from our honeymoon, we'll get back uh, about mid April. So we're going to be taking it pretty easy, for, uh, you know, for that rest of that month of April, except at the end of the month, Carissa and I, um, you know, we're a part of Corey's ministry with the Nasherites, and we've been putting on Nash regional Nasherite conferences. Mm -hmm. We did one in Fort Myers, Florida, just a few weeks ago. And then at the end of April, we're headed out with the rest of the team to help put on our second regional conference out in North Carolina at the end of April. This is going to be awesome. It'll be our first, you know, sort of ministry thing that we do together as a married couple. Mm -hmm. It's it's such an honor to get to run with Corey Russell here in Denver locally in our prayer room in the day-to-day, -day, but then to get to be a part of this ministry yeah. where we're going and we're... Helping cast the vision of what... Um, a life of a messenger looks like a life as an intercessor looks like yes. and just partnering with local churches that have either just begun to kind of catch wind of this or some that are a little bit more established and like yes we are intercessors and so we get to go partner with churches and communities in different places and just help like cast the vision and encourage the community and partner with them you know how how we can and we're so we're just super excited um, and honored to be a part of that to be a part of the team of taking this uh vision uh to different parts of right now the country but eventually you know the earth yeah and so yeah we we've we loved the first one we got to be a part of and we're looking forward to and it's gonna be fun getting to do it as a married couple for mm -hmm. sure so that's at the end of april mm -hmm. so then we will come back to Denver and we will finish out our semester here in Denver in the mm -hmm. prayer room. You know, you guys are probably aware if you're seeing this video that that's one of the major things that Carissa and I do. One of our primary occupations is being singer, musicians, prayer leaders in the house of prayer here in Denver. Mm -hmm. We love that that is such an essential piece to our lives and our ministry. And so we will finish out, you know, the month of May before summer break. And so what usually just the way that our prayer room works, once the summer gets here, our schedule is a little bit different. Oftentimes it's uh, pulled back slower. hours, slower, mm -hmm. not as much, uh, the prayer room's not as open uh, as much Many of the time. Hours. Yeah. And so for us, we have some unique kind of fun summer plans with us getting married. 
you know, we wanted to finish out our responsibilities once we get back from our honeymoon, right, this semester. However, we have decided, and we have the blessing from Corey uh, to do this, we have decided to spend a couple of months down in Fort Myers, Florida for the summer. So at this point, the details are still coming together, but we're planning on being down there all of June and we'll probably most of July as well. And so we mentioned just a moment ago that we were down there a few weeks ago for our very first regional Nasherite conference. So while we were down there, man, we made some awesome connections with From a couple different church communities. Actually, three, three different three different church communities. We made uh, connections with some relationships were started and really got invitations from three different you know, church communities. Hey, we would love for you guys to come spend some time with us, see what we're all about. And so this is our plan. We're going to go down. We figured it'll be a little bit of a change of pace for us um, just to get out of, you know, kind of the, the grind that we're in here in Denver. Um, we think it'll be good for to start our own marriage, take a little bit of a, you know, a season, two months. I mean, that's a good amount of time. Go and spend a, a slower pace, build some of these relationships uh, down in Fort Myers, work on just forming that foundation between Carissa and I, as we, you know, are starting married life and all that comes with that. And what's the, the third piece really behind going down? Yeah, we wanted to, uh, like he said, kind of get into a slower rhythm, focus on our relationship, get foundations really good. But both of us have really just been stirring in our hearts with some different content that we're uh, just really wanting to press into. We've both been feeling just this desire um, and prompting to write a little bit, work on Mm -hmm. some books or some booklets, you know, open to what that might look like. But we definitely each have a couple messages that we've been feeling the urgency lately to to get out, to try and start to gather our thoughts and get it, get it out through courses, through books, this these different content mm. uh, forms, I guess, to, you know, we want to put them on heavenly bread and really um, roll out some of the things that the Lord has put on our heart. I'm really excited to sit down um, and write. I haven't tried to write a book or anything before, but... I've been feeling the Lord just like kind of press on some of these messages that I've been carrying for a couple years. And I feel like it's time to go. And so we're really looking forward to slowing down, writing, getting into that creative space and just seeing what the Lord does and and how he breathes on just, yeah, these messages that are in our hearts. Yeah. So specifically, we want to write some books. Yeah. I've written and published one book already um, Mm -hmm. a few years ago, but I myself have five more books laid out with like all the chapters, the titles. Here's what I want in each chapter. They just have to be written. And for Carissa, I've watched, you know, the way that you're gathering your notes and you're getting, she's getting organized and she has a handful of topics and books that we feel like, man, the Lord's put this on our hearts. I feel like I have something to say Mm -hmm. um, on these matters that will be helpful, encouraging. Important for the hour, I think, that we're in. Yes. Yeah. And so we're, but in order to actually, you know, make a book come into fruition, you have to set aside some time Mm -hmm. and really focus on it. And so I think the slower pace in Fort Myers specifically, that's going to be one of our main focuses is seeing how much writing can we get done and can we get you know, some of these messages set in that specific form. Definitely, I'm excited for this. We, our plan at this point is to spend that portion of time, June and July down there, and then return back to Denver um, and continue running with House Denver, our, our church community here, continue to run with Corey Russell and the rest of the Nasherite crew. And so, um, Man, we're excited for what the future holds. Like I mentioned at the beginning, our hands are open regarding our future. Um, You know, I love the scripture where it says, the heart of a man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. 
And so we have a plan. We have some things that we're going to be working towards. And who knows the the maybe the the tweaks and the the shifts and the turns throughout the way. Um, and we'll we'll see. We'll adjust if we need to. But that's where things are headed at this point. Mm-hmm. We wanted to give you guys an update, and we wanted to just thank you so much yes. for the support that you guys have given ourselves, Heavenly Bread Ministries. I mean, I think it's important for you guys to know, now that we, Carissa and I are getting married, we do not plan on pulling back from the ministry assignment. I mean, it might be, like I mentioned, a slower pace for those first few months to set some foundations, but we're in this thing for the long haul. And both of us feel uh, you know, strongly that we want to live a, you know, a life on assignment and building the kingdom of God and making disciples and helping prepare our sphere of influence, friends and family, different ones that follow our ministry for the, you know, the hard dynamics that are in the earth right now and all the stuff that is, you know, increasing and is coming here in the near future we want to see people equipped to be yes. able to endure all the way to the end with the same fiery fiery love that they have in their youth. And so that is not changing at all. You know, Carissa originally came on, you know, to the Heavenly Bread team as the so- social media director, you know, as her and I have gotten engaged and now are moving into marriage. Uh, it's really transitioning into co-leading this ministry together. And so I'm excited for that and all that the, that looks like in the future. But thank you guys for the partnership and for standing with us throughout, you know, up until this point. Mm-hmm. And I just hope that you feel confidence and an excitement to continue partnering with us and to continue standing with us We believe that this is just the beginning. And so anything else you want to say, babe? Yeah. I mean, just to echo, we're so grateful for your support, for you guys tracking with us, tracking with the content, supporting us through prayers and finances and all the other things that come with it. And yeah, we're, like you said, we're excited, you know, we're excited to get back and, you know, do some more podcast stuff in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to that. I feel like the Lord has just been, um, really like doing stuff in our hearts through a lot of different ups and downs in this season. And I think, yeah, like we just have fresh burdens, uh, that we want to get out to this generation. And, you know, I personally, I'm like, I'm looking forward to even just talking about some things that maybe aren't even being talked about that much, that we just are feeling our essential pieces, like he's saying, for people to endure and and to stay in love with the Lord, to stay engaged with their brothers and sisters in the Lord. And so, yeah, we're, we're feeling the fire in our bellies and, you know, we want to take the right time to focus on what we need to focus on in our foundation, but it's in our hearts to run and uh, to help others run. And yes. so we're looking forward to everything that the future holds, whatever that looks like. And we're grateful that you guys are along with us. Yes, we love you guys. Love you guys. We will see you guys some more soon. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs>